Yes, so we're there, and this is Saturday afternoon. I'm so happy that you guys are around. I would like to tell you about some great music, and I would like to showcase some great musicians, including Magdalena Basch and Lucas Becker. So at this uh, moment in time, uh, the viewers just see me because th there's two cameras in this mobile phone, but I would be so happy to show you my guests. So there's Lucas and Magda. Hello. 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 Great to have you. We will just probably get rid of the plastic. Uh, yeah, because they don't look so good. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, we are just doing our best. I just wanted to say that those wonderful people are musicians and they come from Wuch. They come from Wuch and they've decided to travel today to the studio and it was a great plan. We're going to talk about their music. Magdalena Basch and Lucas, they met two years ago and it was uh, the summertime in Wuch. And that has to do and it had to do with uh, the fiancé of Lucas. So that was back in the day. But now I would like to let everybody hear your song, which is called Spadam. Mm -hmm. So I'm falling down. That would be the translation to English. Have you ever considered uh, really uh, singing in English, Magda? Uh, excuse me? Have you ever thought of singing in English uh, or just Polish? No, I'm only singing in Polish because uh... I think this is beautiful, beautiful language. Of course. And, and I like singing only, only in Polish. That makes perfect sense to me. So we're going to play the music. I don't know if you guys dance to it or you just listen to it. <laughs> but here it comes. This is the official version of Spadam. Yes. Oh, it doesn't work? searching for the okay. video. I 
I have to buy a new mobile phone. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, <coughs> Christmas is coming. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe maybe <coughs> you could take Lucas's phone and then log into your Facebook there. Okay. Yeah, maybe that would work. Okay. So Lucas, you just will log out and we will have the opportunity to to hear from you and Magda, okay? Okay. So in the first part of the show, I'm going to uh, rather uh, concentrate on talking to mm -hmm. Lucas because mm -hmm. you will just have your time to share okay. the file, okay? Okay. I just wanted to say hey, hi, hello to those people who just joined us in the discussion. Einen schönen guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Aber heute es ist schon zu spät. Leider. It's, it's, it's Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday, so it's still guten Morgen. I just wanted to say hi to everybody. And I wanted to say that there will be music in the studio. There will be wonderful musicians. And we are just starting the next episode of the show. So thank you so very much for, for being around and for waking up so early <laughs> to, to continue that. And then uh, we today will meet a person that I first met on a bus. It was a long drive from Berlin to Poznań, but it just was a great experience. And we'll see if uh, then Magda is able to find the Facebook thing. Yeah, is I that hard? That, uh, yes, it's hard because um, Lucas has uh, only Deutsch language. Ah, <laughs> I can do that. Yes. All right. No, uh, here, so, oh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> Only Deutsch language. Okay, guys, so I'm just uh, with you. And please join us with the question. We already have uh, Anne Gleisel. Anna Gleisel. Anna Do you know Anna Gleisel? Because I thought that she might be one of your friends. Anna Gleisel. So uh, one of our viewers, <laughs> and there's Agnieszka listening to the show. There's Barbara. Thank you, Basia, for being with us. And yes, we're going to start the real radio show. Did it work, Magda? Uh, excuse me? Did it work? Uh, what? No, it didn't work. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's a wrong email address. Ah, okay. No. So it's not so easy with Facebook. People are trying to log into their accounts, and mm -hmm. it just can happen that <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to do. Okay, there is no... Okay, Anna, I'm so sorry to, to for my mistake because I thought that Anna is your friend because she has a German-sounding name, just not like right. I have Maciej Kautz. Right. And I'm still not related to you. <laughs> and Anna is also not related to you either. So I just really uh, keep my fingers crossed for uh, Magda because you see her uh, log into her yes. Facebook. How exciting that is. <laughs> and guys, I'm just going to take a sip of water. Let's try, let's try. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes. Yes, good. So uh, I will just start the, the actual radio show. Thank you so very much. This is International Post Night, and I'm so glad that you're around. I hope that you also follow the show on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash international Poznan. And it's not the way uh, that Lucas would first hear about me, because there was a different way. Witam serdecznie w programie. Dzisiaj ze mną muzycy. There's Magdalena Baś, there's Lukas Becker. Lukas comes from uh, Frankfurt, mm -hmm. right? Uh, uh, Hamburg. Uh, Hamburg, no, sorry. Berlin, Berlin, Berlin. Berlin. Berlin, and then we met in Berlin, and then Magda comes like from Łódź. Łódź. Did it work? The, yeah, this is uh, Lukas' account. I don't know how to do this, but <laughs> maybe... <laughs> Yeah, this is not my account, this is yours. Okay, yeah. so so maybe that works. And where? Oh, okay. Yes, super. So I got I it. Okay, and that just means that Magda and Lucas have shared information about them on our Facebook. So thank you so very much. Zawsze możecie nas znaleźć tam, ale przede wszystkim słuchając na 102.7 FM. Once again, congratulations on sharing everything. Yes. Thank you so very much. Let's begin the show. <laughs> Okay, so you guys just met two years ago, but yes. I wanted to first uh, tell you about my story uh, with Lukas. So there was this Polski bus uh, and we were driving from Berlin to Poznań. And I remember there was this very unkind 
passenger <laughs> that that would just uh, that would just I remember uh, there was a table uh, that we would share mieliśmy taki stoliczek między sobą jako pasażerowie and then I would just put uh, my cell phone and my drink on that table and he was not there at that time because the bus didn't even start mm-hmm. they didn't even start driving so uh, when he just uh, came there he would just do it like this like totally get rid of my stuff Even though I didn't do anything bad to him, but that was just a crazy person. And then I just realized, oh, there is a nice person who actually smiles, another one, <laughs> who who knows how to smile and to say thank you or sorry or uh, hello, how, how cool that is. And that was Lucas Becker. And I'm so glad to have you. Do you still remember uh, our first meeting, Lucas? Of course, of course. Please come a bit closer to the microphone. Of course. No, um... Yes, then you uh, then you came and we started to, I think it just took two minutes, three minutes. Yeah. And we started to talk and we finished talking in Poznan. At uh, Poznan main station. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I had a plan to work and yes. I remember and I sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I would actually start working, but then there was this great topic that yeah. we wanted to discuss. Yeah. I also remember that one of the first things you told me about is uh, that you have a fiancé in yes. uh, Polish. Her name is Marta. Yes, Marta. And Marta lets you meet Magda. Exactly. So, Magda, how did you meet Lucas? What was this? Huh. Uh, fian- uh, Lucas' fiancé mm-hmm. uh, called me and uh, told me tell me a story. Told me a story uh, about Lucas and. Um, He There's told me this something. wonderful man yes, that I and, fell in love and with. And she told <laughs> she she told me something like that. Oh, uh, I've got a super extra turbo max boyfriend. <laughs> super <laughs> extra turbo max. <laughs> yes, and he is doing music, and he's looking for somebody. I think about um, woman, uh, singing woman, and maybe you. And I told something like that. Yes. Really? So is... you were searching for like a musician to really help you in expanding your yeah. passion? Yes, 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 of course. Oh. So you didn't even know who Lucas was. You only heard yeah. if he was a super duper exciting person and you were already happy about that. Yes, uh, and we, uh, when, uh, when, when uh, I saw Lucas and uh, we talk a lot about music and uh, about inspirations and I thought something, something like that. Oh my God, he's listening the same music like me. This is incredible. And it was super. And it was super. Yeah. Not that. And then we met in, I had to this time... Uh, Please come closer. Uh, I had to this time a small, I rented a small studio, like a rehearsal room and in, in Uj. Yeah. And then we met there and um, just showing music what... Uh, Yeah, I made in the past what is possible mm-hmm. and so you from... just rented a room in uh, Wuch to make yes. music. Exactly. That was the idea like also to record like louder things and um yes. And then to record louder things. Yeah, because... like singing, like 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 singing. I mean it's it's quite hard to record in a flat or something in with a your neighbors room. around. Exactly. And yeah. you never know when the neighbor starts drilling or <laughs> what what is happening, <laughs> the birds are coming or Or that they just call the police to to make you quiet. <laughs> yes, no, no, that never happened to me. To no, no, okay, yeah. that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that happens in Switzerland more often because I've heard right. that they are really demanding when it comes to quietness, really peace right. and quiet. Yeah, they really appreciate that. Sometimes when you take a bath after uh, 10 p.m. in Switzerland, okay. uh, they would call the police oh. because if you take a bath. Uh, it means there's the shower and uh, mm-hmm. there is the sound that you're that you're taking it and it's against the rules oh. in many of the housing apartments uh, it is not allowed to have a dog which mm-hmm. might not yeah. surprise some people but there's also apartments in which you cannot even have a cat mm-hmm. not even a pig no, or whatever no, you plan no, to yeah. have no, I, in, in my in my flat in Berlin yes. um, I the same problem uh, with really? neighbors really really bad and especially one neighbor and she um, lived in the third floor 
Okay, and this is just the beginning of a wonderful story. Yes. So you had this neighbor, and what happened next is uh, the question to follow up with. Już za chwilę ciąg dalszy tego programu. We've just heard from Paulina, and Paulina says she loves this radio, and thank you so very much for being with us. This radio is MC Radio 102.7 FM. And we're back on the radio that everybody loves because this is the international hour of MC Radio. Welcome to this weekend edition of our show. Came Here for Love is the song that we just played. And I'm so happy that you are around. And I mean the lovely listeners. Thank you uh, very much to the people that are watching us on Facebook because of Lucas and Magda, because they're your friends. They might be your family. And they just wanted to join the discussion. If you have questions to ask, then please just uh, write them in the comments section. So we're back to the wonderful people. Wonderful people with us. And Lucas, you just said that you had this experience uh, back in Berlin. Yeah. When there would be a problem with your neighbors, right? Yes, yes. No, uh, like everybody else in the house, everybody was fine. Of course, here and there, neighbor trouble. But this one... We o sąsiadach, którzy nie zgadzają się na posiadanie zwierząt w mieszkaniach. Tak czasem jest w Szwajcarii, a czasem tak jest w Niemczech. So... Uzyskać zgodę od sąsiadów. That I wasn't too loud because she didn't call the police. She called every time the owners of the house, and this means if you get three calls. Um, from the owners you're out. Oh. Uh, yes, and tak, uh, luckily I got all the signatures and everything went well. But, but can I just ask you, because maybe I didn't get it, uh, why did you uh, have to take signatures that you were not too loud? Like, why would you even have to take signatures? No, yeah, because um, first of all, the people, the, the owners of the house, I mean, if they uh, get every time the call from a neighbor, Of course, they have to believe the neighbor, this mm -hmm. person. And if I say that, no, I wasn't loud. Um, <laughs> it's as, especially 18 or 19 years old. I don't think so. It's convincing enough. <laughs> and so I just made this signatures and everything went well. Okay, so uh, there was this happy ending of this story after all. Yes, if you can call it happy ending, <laughs> <right>? yeah. <laughs> uh, Pauszka Salinger, one of the commenting oh. people, says she totally loves the music of Lucas. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Hi. So, so tell me, please, what, what your music is, uh, Lucas? W what is it like? And then I'll also ask Magda. Mm -hmm. um, you mean now the music what Magda and I are doing? Of course. All right. Um, no, this is, uh, let's say it like this, the inspiration of this music comes uh, from Magda because it's about her life and about what she wants to tell. And I just try to make the soundtrack to that. Mm -hmm. And are you trying to like guess what her wishes would be? Or are you just listening to her very closely? It's, it's I think, everything together. Mm -hmm. Like, um, yes. <laughs> Magda, what do you think? Uh, Lucas said something like that. This is uh, about my life, but not e exactly, because uh, uh, a lot of texts is about, um, about another person, about uh, relationships, and I think about uh, generally, yeah? And... Uh, Sometimes uh, I see people and uh, their relationships or something, yeah? And I try to imagine that. What about their thinking, yes? And uh, this is it. But inspiration, inspirations uh, are from, uh, from space only. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think about only from my heart or something like that. So the inspiration comes from the space. You mean like everything that is happening around <laughs> you, Magda? Yes. Okay. That sounds good to me. Because, guys, if there is something that I can say, uh, which would be really surprising to hear about Magda, it's that uh, she is on this radio show, International Poznan. She comes from Łódź. Uh, and then uh, Wulukas is from Hamburg. But then 
and I'm from Poznan. But the crazy thing about Magda is that she's also a lawyer. And and you just meant you just you just managed to to like uh, combine uh, those two distant worlds. Mm -hmm. How is that possible that you're a ratsa pravne, so a legal counselor? I mean, I wanted to congratulate you on on that. And and tell me please how how that is going to you for you. Mm, I think this is the simple thing because. Um, oh come on. <laughs> sometimes I she think... says it's simple to be a lawyer. Look at us. <laughs> no, no, it's not simple to be a lawyer. But this is the simple thing to join this uh, two things. I think about music and think about law because um, sometimes I feel a uh, little bit schizophrenia. Yes, because uh, I have to open to mind it uh, when I am a lawyer. Exactly. It has to be totally yes, different, right? This is something. This is completely different. Different and... Magdalena. <laughs> like yes. you're Magdalena then and yes. you're Magda, Magda when you're playing. Magda, yes, when, when, when I'm singing and uh, writing writing uh, texts. Yes. And the second, uh, the, 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 the second phase is, is music phase. And this is something like that. This is my, uh, how to say it? This is my love. And um, law, this is the kind of uh, work. And um, I think uh, when you have a passion, and I have about music, uh, I think about music at present, this is the, the simple to join these two things. Uh, so it is not such a big deal after all. <laughs> But these are totally different worlds, and you just say it is possible to, to combine it. I have no time and it is a problem. That is a problem. Yes, 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 yes. So it's sometimes hard to schedule a rehearsal, żeby umówić nagrania with Magda, Lucas? No, once a week it's possible, tak? Yes, 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 yes. Once a week? <laughs> once a week. About, once a week. Yeah. Yes. That is so great. I love to see people with passion. Amazing. This is a comment that we just got from Paulina and Zuza just joined us. So there's a lot of people watching us and I would like to thank you so very much for being with us. I would like to ask you for your questions because this is the driving force of this radio show. We need you guys, we need the listeners and we need you to hear some great music on MC Radio 102.7 FM. So we will just have an introduction to your newest song, which is Spadam. Can you please tell me about Spadam? So Magda, ah. Spadam, which means I'm falling down. Yes, but uh, this is a song about uh, a very hard relationship. This is about a woman who can't find uh, her place um, in heart, in another heart. Yeah, and this is about this. So not being able to find a place, something like that. in her heart. Do you understand the lyrics, Lucas? Because no. it's in Polish. <laughs> no. I just I just know Spadam. <laughs> no, Lucas. Sometimes Lucas asks me, and uh, please tell me, uh, can you tell me uh, the, the, about what is this text? Exactly. Yes, <laughs> and this is hard to to say because uh, I've got a lot of metaphors, and <laughs> sometimes it's impossible. A lot of metaphors. Is there like one metaphor that uh, that that you could just mention now? I don't know. Okay, we have time to think because the song will actually play right now. Thank you so very much for being with us. Having heard from the wonderful people of the music world, we're with people with passion, and there will be another guest today who is Maxi Alemzo, a rapper from Nigeria later on during this show. So there's so much happening and he uh, has been living in Poznań for like 10 years and he'll join us with his music. But we're here, hey, with Magda and with Lucas okay. and we've just heard your song that's only happening on uh, the radio version of our show. You can hear us every Saturday at 2 p.m. Every Sunday at 10 p.m. I just needed to make sure that I remember correctly. It's been like that for the last four years, so I should finally learn. Okay, so this is 102.7 FM. Thank you so very much for being with us. So the song is full of metaphors. Do we want to re relate to any part of the lyrics, uh, Magda, or would you say it's too complicated? 
I'm thinking. <laughs> um, at first, uh, if I can translate, jestem fragmentem gry, z której nie ma wyjścia. I am a, uh, I am a part of the game, yeah? And this that is, there is no escape from. Yes, yes, yes. And this is the first of metaphors in this text, yeah? And uh, I think the whole song is about this, and then the whole song is a big metaphor, and big metaphor, and uh, it's hard to say and hard to hard to uh, share this song uh, for another parts of metaphors. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Would you say that this song uh, is a, a bit more sophisticated than more most of the songs on the radio stations? Mm -hmm. Że jest and then maybe it will be harder to understand for a mass audience. I think it, it could be. It could be. Uh, but uh, I think uh, maybe the audience uh, can say something about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's hope to hear from them yeah. and we will make sure to, to play your song. So, or your more of your songs. Uh, Lucas, mm -hmm. uh, tell me please who Marta is. Marta. Uh, Marta is my angel. Marta is the reason why I'm here. Um, uh, in Poland and also met you. That's true. You and were on a bus from Berlin to Poznan. And I was there. Marta, Marta is my fiance. I met her in Berlin. Congratulations. <laughs> and your positive. wedding is uh, in 2019, if I remember? No, 2018? In 20, uh, next year. Okay, yes, nice. Yes, nice. And, um, yeah, and I met her in Berlin and quite fast after that I just followed my heart and went that's a good thing to do yeah it's yeah. The, <laughs> it's the right thing to do <laughs> yes. uh, of course and uh yeah and now i'm here <laughs> yeah i know that uh you would propose quite fast i mean you have known her for okay one year that was yes yes okay that's that's really nice and then how did you guys meet each other it was in, in Berlin in a small club. It's called the Vagabund. Vagabund. Yes. And uh, what was she doing nice. there? nice. She was <laughs> right. there with her aunt. And um, I was there. That's still better than if she had been there with her mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's still easier to meet a, a, a lady that you don't know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. No, and I was with my former colleague there. And um, we got in contact. Yeah. And it's nice. And then it followed. You know, yes. I still remember when we were on the bus. You just told me that you, because you know, I wanted to mention your your future uh, mother-in-law, your Teshchova, and we would talk about you know there being so many stereotypes that had that have to do with them, especially in Poland, I think. And you are just this great example of a great relationship with your with your mother-in-law or with your in-laws. Can, can you tell me about that? Um. They are great, friendly people. Um, um, they have a small, uh, they have a house in, in Porambice. Porambice, okay. Yes, and very warm. The whole family, uh, very warm and um, lovely, inviting. Especially uh, what, what is amazing for me as, uh, uh, yeah, how do you say, Berliner, mm -hmm. is that uh, for Christmas, um, they make really everything like on their own, like not just the main dish. <laughs> oh, make... nice. So they are like this really, they try to keep the tradition. Of... Yes, yes. And just this warmth that gives this kind of uh, family feeling already. Yeah. And you... everybody is making their like together the food. And... and you've never felt foreign there. You've always been included from the first moment, from the first moment. That's nice. Have you ever seen them together, Magda? Uh, I know, uh, you ask me about uh, Marta. Pa no, yes, Marta and Lucas. Do you see them a lot? Yes, because uh, when I uh, when we are working uh, together with Lucas, uh, Marta is uh, in a flat. Yes, she's, <laughs> yes. she's there. She's yes, around. So, so, so. Uh, Even though she's not a musician. No. No. So you see them and you say that they're a wonderful couple. Yes, yes, yes. This is a super thing. Sometimes Marta, because Marta is a lawyer, 
uh, too. Oh, great. So, sometimes it's something I like that. I feel so safe. Yes, yes. <laughs> and some, it's something <laughs> like that. Prawdę bezpieczni. Yes. Uh, we are wo- working with Lucas and Mata. Oh, hello. Hello, maybe a little coffee. Uh, let's talk in, about something. Yeah. And Lucas, oh my God. Yeah, we're going to talk about Supreme <laughs> Court. It was a joke, of course. <laughs> it, was a, it was a joke. Let's talk about the Supreme Court or the you know, the laws that there uh, have been made or something like that. But no, you're no uh, stereotypical lawyers. You just like your job, but you also find time for music, yes, which is great. Yes, of course. Of course. That is wonderful. And I would like to thank you for all of that and for providing your great passion on the show. It was great to, to have you here. Thank you for coming all the way from Łódź. No, <laughs> I'm <you>. so glad. <laughs> yeah. And now we're going to have a coffee, but there is one thing that I would like to let you know. There is still will be more happening on the show because I just said thank you to Lukas Becker and Magdalena Bash or Magda Bash. But I would like you to hear Maxi Alemzo. He is an Afro-American rapper living in uh, Poznan. He comes from Nigeria, but he's just rapper gangsta style. And he is just a really fun person. I've known him for long, but this is the time to interview him. This, ladies and gentlemen, is International Poznan. And I would like to thank you so very much for being with us on uh, the video part of the show. I thought that we would just play the song of yours again so that everybody can hear your wonderful song. So maybe we just play the longer version. How about that? Maybe we just play it uh, now, right? Or the alternative version, oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah, you didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> That's okay. So, guys, you should definitely see your friends and your future friends, maybe, or your family. There's Mark Eckstein. There's Agnieszka, Veronika Kędziora, who says hello from Poznań. And there's just a lot of people. And I'm so happy that you guys are around because International Poznań is worth nothing without you. And then I'm just going to show you my guests again. And the name of the wonderful artist is Magda Bash. There's Lukas Becker who would uh, really uh, support her with his uh, electronics and, and, and music background of the song. Is that correct? Maybe. No, I'm writing the music. <laughs> or you're just writing the music. Okay, yes. that's, that's, that's better. Okay, so we're just going to hear Spadam, the alternative version. And you guys can dance, you can do anything, because this is the last moment of yeah. International Poznań. This is called the intro, right? No, tak. Yes. <laughs> Jak tam u ciebie z tym polskim? Bo tak co chwilę mówisz, no tak, no tak. Czyli już jesteś dobry po polsku. <laughs> Nie mowy dobrze po polsku, ale na no tak is universal word. <laughs> Okay. I think even my, my German friends they, they, they hear it every time. Like when I'm speaking, for example, with Paul, uh, the last time I, I don't know how often I use this word. No tak. No tak. <laughs> I don't know. Naya. Like... This is like the, the translation of Naya. Yeah, no Naya. 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 Uh, Pauszka Salinger is saying Berlin Poznan, a true love story. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hear your song. This is wonderful. Thank you for being with me. Thank you. Thank you.
we should write one day uh, how like how to do music if the language is not yeah. <laughs> sometimes we can say I like this word what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> no because Polish is really nice for writing songs like from the sound of the words it's really nice <laughs> for me because I don't really understand the word do you have like a junior in plan to learn college? Or? yes and I just started my um, Lesson. Our, our lesson, our lesson, I just started for a few weeks ago. Colono Square. Colono Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where is A1? Where is A1? Yeah. We, we played this song twice for the video uh, viewers. And, you know, it's probably not the best quality. It's just a laptop. But I feel like it's still better than nothing. Combine. Great. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Because I can also publish it on our public. Thank you very much. <laughs>